A woman is in the Cole County Jail tonight after allegedly having sexual contact with a teenager. 41-year-old Jennifer Cecil is charged with first-degree sexual abuse, two counts of statutory rape, and a count of sexual contact with a student. ABC 17's Nia Hinson joins us live from the Cole County Sheriff's Office. Nia, Cecil's being held without bond. Lucas, court documents say that Cecil was allegedly a volunteer for a school in Cole County, but it doesn't specify which one. What we do know right now is that she's being held in this jail right here behind me without bond, as prosecutors say she's a danger to the community. Disturbing news out of Jefferson City tonight, as new court documents say Jennifer Cecil was having sexual contact with a student for seven months before her arrest. Documents say the Sheriff's Department got a complaint from a parent of the victim yesterday, claiming the two had been seeing each other at Cecil's house and was initiated by Cecil while volunteering for the school the teenager goes to. Those documents also adding that Cecil and the teenager talked mostly through Instagram, with Cecil asking the teenager if the two could talk without it being recorded and switching the app to, quote, banish mode. Police say they found a gap in messages between December of last year and just three days ago. But the messages found before going into vanish mode included allegedly inappropriate conversation with Cecil telling the teenager he had left items in her bed. The two also allegedly shared explicit pictures with each other. Documents also add that Cecil allegedly confessed to the crimes after the teenager's parents confronted both Cecil and her husband about the sexual relationship with their son. Now, I also reached out to Cole County Prosecutor Locke Thompson, as well as the Sheriff's Office for comment, but have not heard back. We also reached out to local schools to try and find out which school Cecil volunteered at, but we still have not heard back from them either. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Nia. A court date for her has not yet been set.